Why, good evening, everybody, and a very special welcome to everybody who's apparently already here. Hi! It's just your normal average everyday Wednesday. At least that's what I thought it was until... Wow! Look! We've, the whole gang's here. We've got Dew, we've got Neko, we've got Peter, and there was somebody else up there, too. Oh, my goodness. Wow! And Lorelai's here, too. Well, this is exciting. Hello, everybody. As we start things off today, I'd like to announce that it's a Wednesday for me, but depending on when you're actually watching this, it could very well not be a Wednesday. Really, we don't tie ourselves to any particular time zone around here. It's, um, it's kind of how we do things. The idea is that the stream will happen now, but then everything else that happens afterwards will continue to exist ad infinitum to the eternity. It will never not exist, which is actually pretty cool. So when I say it's Wednesday, it could very well be Wednesday, but like 20 years from now. And that's a pretty interesting thought. I've been thinking a lot about eternity recently and how it is never ending, but also nothing at all. But anyway, let's not get like into the whole like deep, deep, like philosophical thing of everything. I got a little bit of a new little cage around here. I've broken through my cage. I was talking last time about how I had like a little overlay for stuff and whatnot. And I don't have an overlay today. I don't, there are changes coming. It's cocktail time. It's cocktail time only. There's no game. In the corner, there's no game that would usually be up in this corner. None of that. There's no spooky music in the background. No, just lo-fi beats to chill. Compliments of the lo-fi girl. Chat is in the cam space now. Yeah, look at this. Isn't that crazy? Look, I can touch the chat. This is, I've never been able to touch chat before. It's like some movie magic stuff going on here. Now I can't really interact with chat like this. Although, you know what would be really cool? I wonder if I could program something that like whenever it senses my hand over here, it like spams chats with emojis. So every single time I do like this, it'll just spam my own chat. That would be interesting. I'm sure there's a bot that exists for something out there. Although it might require more processing power than I currently have on my, uh, my current rig. Yo, Astro, what's going on? It's cocktail time. You know what it is. You know what it is. Today has been pretty good so far. I went out, uh, I had lunch, with my co-workers, uh, over the course of the holiday, uh, we did a little bit of a gift exchange and I, I somehow got stuck with a, a, a part of I got, I got stuck with a bunch of individual jars of baby food. So usually, depending on what your, what your celebratory stuff is during the holiday, you might have like a sort of like a gift exchange. And so my family, so my extended family, the fiance's family usually does this type of thing. And, and so, oh my God, I'm like losing my train of thought. To preface this, I was actually really nervous today before I started stream. I don't know why I had this, I had this feeling of stage fright inside of me and I didn't know where it was coming from. So it's kind of, it's coming out. I'm, I'm shaking it off. You know what? Actually, I'm going to shake it off. I'm going to shake it all off. It's not a, it's, it's okay to not be okay. It's okay to get a little anxious. Sometimes I suffer from a little bit of anxiety and I'm feeling it right now. What's my heartbeat at? 98. It's a lot faster than it usually is. I'm usually in like the mid fifties. In any case, long story short, there was some secret Santa-ing. There was some gift exchanging. And I somehow got stuck with multiple containers of Play-Doh, all different colors, not edible, not edible, and also a bunch of containers of baby food, indeed edible, and they're all different flavors. And today I ate the blueberries and pear flavor. The other day I had guava, pear, and oh, it was guava, pear, and strawberries, and also some other flavor that completely escapes my train of thought. Oh goodness, I'm slowly becoming live stream Chan. I am the Chan of the live stream, or I rather, I am I am a Chan. No, I'm not. I'm not a Chan. I'm a Chad? I'm not a Chad. Chad stream Chan? Live stream Chad? I don't... I don't know. 98, I believe, is pretty fast. It's fast for me. We're at a 96 right now, but I apparently have 7,800 steps today. It's because Anna walked me back from work. She's a very kind fellow sometimes. She's a very kind fellow, like, on the normal. She's a very good person. I appreciate her. And I love her. But alas. We're focusing on drinking right now. Or at least, that's... That's, that's the point of this part of the that's the part of this part of the episode and then we'll get to the gaming later I don't know this is different this is different for me I'm trying to change things up it's exciting I was thinking about colors as well over the course of the weekend and I thought of my favorite color which is the color blue so I'm gonna make a blue cocktail today I literally went to my I literally went to my uh, my bartender's black book this guy give it to me by my mother and I looked for the color blue I looked for all the cocktails that started with blue I wanted to make a blue cocktail. So I grabbed, in addition to looking for the blue flavors, I found Caracao, or rather it's Caracao syrup. Just kidding, it's Curacao. Actually, actually, so on this particular bottle, usually, actually, let me, let me, let me take a look here. Does this say, no it doesn't, oh my God, okay. So usually, 
Curacao is spelled with a little limason, which is like the letter C, but it's got a little cleft on the end of it. And I just noticed that neither of these bottles, this one doesn't have Caraca with the little cleft. There's no, there's no cleft on that. There's no little thing. There's no, there's no S sound. Neither does this one. There's no little, it's supposed to have a little I at the bottom of it, but it doesn't. And I don't exactly know why. So I guess I'm not wrong in referring to these ingredients as blue Caracao, because I didn't spell it correctly. That or it's generally understood that if it's, if it's spelled C-U-R-A-C-A-O like that, then you generally lightly pronounce the C as a S. If I did that for my name, I'd be Samron, which doesn't sound right to me. But if I spelled sound with a C, it could be sound or it could be count. But alas, the language, phonetics, letters, the alphabet confuse many and confuse me, especially with the Greek alphabet. It just seems out of order. The, the letters, they throw me off. But today, blue. What's blue? Well, the sky is blue. The water is blue. Unless the water's not blue, in which case don't drink that water. What else is blue? My veins oftentimes appear to be blue at times. There's a yoga mat sitting in the corner that is blue. There's a book that's sitting in the corner that's blue. That little logo down there is also blue. Some dude's balls are blue. Absolutely, I've got a pillow over here that's blue. My water bottle is blue. It's my favorite color. My favorite color is blue. Actually, it's this kind of blue, this royal blue thing. I actually have a little secret inside of this water bottle that, that I don't think I've ever actually showed on camera. I have a little drawing. This is my little drawing. This is my little bits. Anyway. Blue is a color that makes the world go around, and so today we will talk about another little blue thing, and that is the little blue poo pill. You guessed it, it's Valium. Apparently, before I started doing this stream today, I was under the impression that when I went for blue Valium, I was like, oh, blue and the letter v oh that's a funny drug the little blue pill is the funny drug english being frankenstein feels appropriate when the game is bring, <laughs> bringing the dead back to the chores back to do chores that's what this game do graveyard keeper do indeed but oh my god the matrix lied to you there's a red pill and there's a blue pill but apparently the blue pill is something that mommy really likes and daddy also apparently uses on occasion but that's the wrong pill. This is blue. <laughs> I honestly thought when I was going to make a cocktail called Blue Valium, this is the recipe. Does that show up? It's showing up. It's down there. This is Blue Valium. We'll go through it. That I was thinking of the wrong pill. I was getting all of my jokes ready. I was going to be like, <laughs> like little blue this and, and male enhancement that. I was mistaken. The little blue pill that I was thinking of initially is Viagra. And that's not always blue, apparently. This is Valium. It is for stress relief anxiety, something that I was unironically feeling earlier. So this is the little blue pill for me to calm down because I'm apparently still at 90 beats per minute. We're still up there and I don't know whether it's the anxiety or if it's something else going on. I don't know. Alcohol is a depressant. Supposedly this will help calm the mind. And um, for the education of the world out there, because apparently I needed education myself, Valium is a drug that can be purchased. Valium, researching it now. I almost had this up on my phone before. Valium, more properly known as diazepam, a controlled substance which is an anxiolytic and sedative and can treat anxiety, muscle spasms, and seizures. So if you suffer from any of these, go see a doctor and maybe they'll give you diazepam, AKA Valium, AKA definitely not the liquid that I'm about to concoct today. That's not, I wouldn't take this because your doctor, I wouldn't take this in place of anything that your doctor tells you to do. If your doctor says to exercise, don't drink alcohol. If your doctor says to lay down and relax, maybe don't drink alcohol. If your doctor says to smoke marijuana because it'll help your anxiety, might as well not fix the upper, uh, mix the uppers and the downers together. Don't drink alcohol unless, I mean, unless you want to, I'm not your parents or anything. Just like, just, I, I'm trying not to encourage bad activities, although... I'm drinking alcohol, so I guess eh, it really depends. There's hardly any reason to actually drink. You're right. There is no reason to drink. Health-wise, yes, you're absolutely right about that. I, I agree, I agree. Yeah, I get you. Anyway, time to drink. My reason, not because it's good for my health, but because I uh, like to mix new flavors. I've, I've been doing this for a long time, except prior to the year that I turned 21, it was non-alcohol things, and that's my story, and that is what I'm sticking to. Blue Valium calls for... Ice, 151 proof rum, whiskey, 
Blue Caracal. There is no little cleft on the bottom of this. It's Caracal or Curacao. You decide. If I see the little cleft, I'm going to say Curacao. If I don't see the little cleft, I'm going to keep calling it Curacao. It uses also some sour mix. You shake it together and top it off with some lemon lime soda. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. I'm going to need to start out with a cocktail, sh uh, cocktail shaker over here. I'm going to need one of those. I'm going to put it in my thing over here. Yes, indeed you do. Yes, indeed. I'm going to throw some ice in here. There's a certain method to our madness, apparently. Supposedly, you're supposed to pick, mix some of the little ice with some of the big ice. You crack up the big ice. And I guess you're supposed to crack up the little ice, too. I don't know. I'm just following what somebody else told me to do. It's, it's okay. Everybody's got their strokes. Everybody's got their folks. Different strokes, different folks. Whatever folks are stroking today, I don't care. Maybe you're stroking your mains. Maybe you're stroking... Uh, maybe you're just having a stroke. In which case, again, please go see a doctor. Just do that. I um I don't have a spoon with me. The only thing I have is a knife and um I have this bike pump. Oh, I actually have a side of the bottle. This is made of glass. No, this is made of plastic. No, that's not gonna work. I need something to whack this with. Yo, wait a minute. Yo. I still have my wrench from last week. <laughs> Pulls out a giant ass ice block. Not too big. It's pretty small. But I'm gonna crack some ice in here as well. This is just as clean as it was last week. Make sure to be sanitary, too. I'm sure your doctor would be happy with that. I'm gonna crack a big ice cube in here and try not to make a mess like I usually do. Although I'm getting better at it. Whoa, that piece went all off onto the couch. Don't worry about it. I'm drinking this. If I had guests over, that would not be making it into the glass. Crackity, crackity, crack, crack ice cubes. I am not... I don't like this. I, no, I just dropped my piece of ice again. My god. I wish I had my bar spoon. I'd go over and get my bar spoon, but with the current setup, I'm kind of locked in. You know what? I'm just going to throw that in there. There we go. I'm just going to put that in there. There. There we go. Wow, look at this. I mean, look at this. It's a shame because I actually have chat over here. I should be looking in this direction, but alas, look at this. Our alcohol is more common to have make mixes for because they... Our alcohol is more common to have to make mixes for because they simply stay drinkable longer than standard juices. Traditionally, the health reason for drinking was then to be being safer than water before we got better at making and keeping it drinkable. Right. Because why drink the... Oh, see, that's, that's the thing, right? If your water isn't blue, you probably shouldn't be drinking it. It's probably stagnant and full of germs. You know it's not full of germs? Alcohol substance, because it kills off all the little germies. So, I mean, I suppose if you had to stay healthy, but but maybe like slow down your immune system and stuff like i guess you'd go for the alcohol over something that would let you die from dysentery that wouldn't be very happy i didn't crack my ice cube up very much but i'm not going to be too anal about that today no 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 sir no ma'am no person i also need to actually put alcohol in the glass so we're going to start off i'm going to make i got i got a plan to this so i'm going to use double proportion but usually it calls for two-thirds of an ounce of 151 proof rum I've got, the only 151 proof rum that I've got is uh, Gosling's. It's a very dark color. It's probably going to completely screw up the color of my drink, but you know, it's blue in the hearts. And so long as it's blue in the hearts, then we're all good. Then I'm cool with that. Sorry, I'll listen into my headphones for a second because Anna's in a meeting right now. And I swear that the voices were coming from my headphones, but nah, actually it's total silence right now. But the music will be back. The music comes back. It'll come back eventually. So in any case... To double proportion this, will it be burble? Maybe. I don't know what color this is going to wind up being, but we're going to find out nonetheless. I need my... Oh my god! I have to go traveling. I forgot my measuring thing. Of course, the one thing that I miss. Excuse me, everybody. I gotta go grab that. Doody doody doo. Camera's across the room. Got it. Got it in my hands. I'm coming back. I'm going to jump on the couch. Actually, this is how I'm going to do this. I'm going to jump on the couch. Here I go. I'm climbing over. Wow. That was significantly that was significantly easier. Can I take you with? I don't have a big enough cable. I've been thinking about that. I've been attempting to figure out ways that I can conveniently like move the camera with me. But really, if I move the camera right to like here, that's about as much length that I've got on this thing. But you know, we're getting better. All I need is an HDMI cord extender. We'll get there. If he does, I'll truly become live stream cam. The camera will always be on my head at all times. Actually, wouldn't it be crazy if we just had cameras, 4K cameras in our eyeballs? I can look at things and that would be the stream. Although then nobody would ever see my face. But some would say that's a plus. Into our glass, we'll go four thirds of an ounce, uh, four thirds ounces, four thirds ounce of 151 proof rum. I'm making a double of this. I have my reasons, we'll get there. So we'll go with a full ounce and then a third of my rum. Rummy, rummy, rum. One ounce and a third. 
Bring it up to the third. Actually, do I have a third of an ounce on here? I don't know. We're going to call that a third of an ounce. I got that. Oh, I mean, Astro's getting glasses, so you'll soon be able to see in 4K. Soonish. Dude, I love my glasses. They help me see the world in HD. I'm down with it. Cyber glasses, the ultimate shaky cam, right? Actually, you know what's interesting about this camera? You can't tell because you're behind the camera, technically, and I'm in front of the camera. But this camera has, like, an active, like, stabilization function. So, like, if I shake the camera right now, it's going to try as best as possible to continue focusing on right, what, right, is what's right smack in front of it. And it's kind of weird because the way that that looks like from my side is like there's a little le there's a lens and I can see it inside of the camera but when it's focusing that lens looks like it's trying to look at me like like how if I move around and continue looking at the camera my eyes look like they're moving but it's just my it's my head that's moving and my eyes are staying focused it is the creepiest thing it's like the camera is literally looking back at me which to be perfectly honest right now it does look like it's dir looking directly at me which I guess is kind of the point. I just noticed, actually, you also don't notice this either. This is not the same camera I've been using. I was actually borrowing a 4K camera from my parents for the past uh, for the past month or so. And then as a belated Christmas present, I got, a, I got one of my for my own. It's missing a little, it's missing a couple of things to it, but alas, we are trying to stay frugal around here. And I was like, oh, you guys. It looks no different than what you guys are saying. Now the only thing is I don't have to pay them back for the camera that I stole from them. Instead, this one's a gift. And I think I'm gonna get up to get another one at some point. <laughs> Amazingly, this one's mine. I will use it forever. Or until it dies. I hope that it doesn't. Next, I'm gonna add three quarters of an ounce of whiskey, but I'm doubling it. So we're gonna go six quarters of an ounce, which is 1.5 ounces of whiskey. I've got, I got Black Velvet today. I don't know why this keeps coming up in my head, but I really do like the song Black Velvet by, I wanna say it's, is it Pat Benatar? I think she does black velvet. Hey, what's going on? Random question. Hey, dude, what are the qualities of a good relationship? I'm glad you asked, Astro. I think proper communication skills are the things that form the foundation for really good relationships. That's what I've been telling myself, and it's been about seven years, so I think it's going all right. Astro feels attacked. It's really ironic. There are, there are almost, I think there's 900 possible different questions, and there's like, like, 20 to 30 different topics of questions and it happened to be upon relationships that's called rolling the dice let's do another one. Oh my god hey cameron anna asks what's the most annoying song that i know the most annoying song that i know the one that gets stuck in my head the absolute most what's an annoying song i feel like th this is going to sound like an attack towards disney queen but a lot of a lot of disney songs get stuck in my head under annoying despite the fact that they're good Pretty much all the music from Encanto is annoyingly good. And that's what's been on my head. Specifically, like, the one where they're talking about Bruno. Like, we don't talk about Bruno, no, no, no. We don't talk about Bruno. That song, those songs, have literally been slapped, just replaying on repeat in my head for the past couple, basically for the past month. And I'm like, God, get out of my head. Oh, but in any way, what's the color of my blanket? Is it also blue? Which blanket? Oh, there's a blanket back here. Yes, you're right. It is blue. This is my blue blanket. This is a blue plaid blanket. There are many blankets around here, but this one is blue. It's like a dark blue and it's got plaid on it. It's beautiful and I can dance around and I can be naked behind this thing and nobody would be none the wiser. But alas, I'm fully clothed. No surprise. <laughs> Your bed blanket is specifically my bed blanket, let's see, I have, well, the bed's over there. I don't sleep on the couch over here, although if anybody ever wanted to be a guest, you could sleep on the couch. It's a very nice couch. It's got multiple blankets on it. I have multiple blankets over here. We also got pillows. We've got this blanket. We've got, oh my god, there's another blue plaid blanket. This one's heated. It makes my body feel all warm inside because I'm very cold in my apartment. I woke up in my apartment the other day, where I usually wake up, and it was like 62 degrees. That's cold. Even my, my property manager was like, hey, by the way, everybody, just saying, you have to keep your heat on all the time because if your apartment goes below 55, your pipes might freeze. And so my response was, my apartment doesn't have heat, actually. We've been using space heaters. Want to come by and take a look at the fact that there's a draft coming in from underneath my pipe, underneath my sink, which is where all the pipes that could possibly freeze be? So uh, the property manager's coming on Friday to take a look at that because I know for a fact because they pulled out the washing and dryer like a few weeks ago to take care of a little flooding that there's no insulation back there 
There's a breeze. Every single time I make dinner, I am stuck between the heat of the stove and also, they, they, I got the heat of the stove and also, um, also the draft from underneath the sink. And I'm like, ugh, oh, gosh. Baby Shark is, Baby Shark is also a little bit annoying. Disney's like so good it gets annoying, like that beat drop in Bruno went, oh my God, everybody mixes in. That's a good one. We should talk about Bruno. We absolutely should. Oh, well, I hope I don't have any more problems than I already do. I certainly hope not. The next ingredient for Blue Valium is the Caracao, Curacao. Say what you wish. Because I'm doing a double of this and I really want to do, use all of my ingredients, I'm going to use half of, I'm going to use half of my mix is going to be the actual blue curacao that's got alcohol in it. The other half is going to be uh, the syrup that I have. I really don't use it because I have this. And why use this? It's got none of the payoff of this. So I'm going to go with it. Indeed. I hope this is addressed. I don't want to be cold anymore. I don't want to be cold ever. But alas, I get cold. I'm wearing short sleeves right now. So you'd think that I'm like maybe asking for it, but... I just want to feel comfortable and I feel comfortable without the the sleeves of my garb just grabbing all my grabbing my skin and stuff just not into it I'm gonna do three quarters of an ounce of the blue curacao and then three quarters of an ounce of the curacao syrup then it'll be blue 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 double d double die double d double die why does your brain tell you that curacao is something that can be a volcano related because it sounds a lot like Krakatoa. Like, I'm not pretty sure that's an actual volcano, not just the SpongeBob reference that I'm sure some people get. I will notice this Curacao syrup is like incredibly liquid. It's actually less viscous than the actual blue Curacao is, which is surprising to me. Ugh. Warm feels gross. I mean, for somebody who's like living down south, I could understand that. If you're always in the heat, then I can completely understand why you might feel like... Like, ew, heat is gross. I love the heat. I don't even mind if I'm sweating. I would much rather be sweating, like, all the time. Because uh, at least I'll be warm on the inside. And then when I get to go into, like, this is a weird thing, right? I like being warm because I know that I'll probably be sweating and whatnot. But also, like, when I walk into a building that's got AC on, it feels so much better when I've been hot outside. And the evaporation makes me feel all cool and whatnot. Like, that, fe those two feelings together, the feeling of being warm but also cooling off, that does it for me in the weirdest way. But like, yeah, cold can be more long-term appealing since it's easier to get warm as needed than to be cooled off. But Astro's <laughs> body's resting temperature is like 99 degrees. Well, I mean, like, we're supposed to be what, 98.6, I think? So like, but I don't exactly know. I take my temperature every day, but I don't think I've ever actually looked at the numbers. So I don't know how hot I am in the morning. I should take a look at my measurements. It's a part of my job. I gotta do it from a job. Okie dokie. The next ingredient that goes in here is a dash of sour mix. I don't have any pre-made sour mix, so I'm just gonna do the only normal thing and I'm gonna mix a little bit of lemony acid and a little bit of sugar. So that'll make, that'll kind of stand in for any sort of sour mix that I would need to do. So I got some lemons. I got lemons over here. And I just realized I don't have my juicer. Wow, I really thought I had everything accounted for today. Nope, not today, folks. They say healthy is about 95 to 99, anything above that, and they start getting worried. Yeah, we got a couple of people at work who are worried about their high temperatures and stuff because, oh boy, we got some co-workers with COVID, but they're not there. They're not at work right now. Consumption. I'm going to take some water. I got water on standby. It was in my water bottle, and we have circle legs. Circle legs? How do I do circle legs? I'm going to circle my legs. You can't see this, but I assure you I am doing circle legs. And I've consumed. I can exercise and consume all at the same time. I always knew that I could. And I'll continue doing my circle legs as I, I guess, squeeze a little bit of... Like, I don't need much yet, yet lemon juice. I just need a little bit of it. So I'm just going to kind of like squeeze a little bit. Just a little squeeze. A little squeeze. Squeeze. Just a little squeeze. And then I'll switch legs so that my circle legs can affect both sides of my body. Excellent. And now I also need a little bit of simple syrup, which I'm doing so on one leg. I'm on one leg because I'm circling with it. Still doing it. I'm dis you're disappointed. I'm doing I did it wrong. I don't have a lot of space back here. I'm gonna be honest. There is okay, let me let's see. I have this much space between my bot my between the table in front of me and the cooler behind me, and I take up about I got about I got about this much I'm estimating. I got like this much wiggle room. It's enough for my head. If I could bend over, if I could jackknife right now, it would be 
my cooler, my legs, my head, and the table. Ugh, the exercise or expertly avoiding eating a lemon. You know, I don't know what I did wrong, but it feels incredibly right from my perspective. Now let's put a dash of simple syrup. There we go. I just added sour mix because it's sour mixed with something that's sweet. Wow. Incredible. How does he do it? I don't know. Let's shake this mofo. Let's shake my little pill. What about complex syrup? We don't talk about complex syrup. Not good for you. Actually, you know, I'm gonna shake this in a chat. Look at this. I'm bombarding chat with the power of my cocktail cigar. How does it feel, chat? How does it feel? Probably doesn't feel like anything. You, you, chat can't physically feel what I do to it. At least, not from what I can tell. I'm usually not on that side. But it's been shaken. Most certainly not stirred. And it actually has, actually has a blue color. It's bluish kind of green. <laughs> it feels loud. It probably does feel loud. Is that what we call the flavors IHOP offers? Oh, the uh, complex syrup. It's like maple, there's like maple syrup, there's blueberry syrup, there's strawberry syrup, there's simple syrup, there's complex syrup, there's quantum syrup, there's all these different types of... I wonder, I know there are like hot sauce bars. You could probably go to like a hot sauce bar and get different types of hot sauce. There's regular bars, you know, like whiskey bars and stuff like that. I wonder if there's a syrup bar. I know milk bars are a thing, but there has to be like a syrup bar out there for all different types of syrups. There must be. Goodness. Esther's never been to an IHOP? Bro. I love, I love IHOP. IHOP was one of my favorite places to go when I was in high school because I would constantly find myself in situations where like I was doing something and there just happened to be IHOP nearby. For example, here's two off the top of my head. My buddy Lycos Laura and I were a part of a theater group back in high school and so when we were seniors we would do up the we would do up the dressing room in a certain theme and the theme that we chose was a fancy restaurant. So we had to go out and get a nice rug. So we went to Big Lots, found a nice rug. After we were done getting the nice rug, we were, we were driving back and we were like, "Yo, let's go to IHOP." And we ate a couple of pancakes together. On another case, my dad does shows, he's a musician. One time we found ourselves in like the middle of like nowhere, New Jersey. And as we were driving back late at night, like one in the morning, we found a 24 hour IHOP. And we were like, yo, let's go to IHOP. And we enjoyed it. And I think, uh, I think, I think my buddy Lycos was there. My two parents were there. And I think Anna was there too. Although I don't, she was very, very tired. I don't know if she, uh, I don't know if she enjoyed herself too much. Uh, Astro's family are like Denny's people. Yeah, I, I see that. I haven't been to a Denny's very much, but I know, I know like IHOP, Perkins, and a lot of it, but Denny's is very good too, or so I've heard. I I mean, I don't go to Denny's too often to be able to tell, um, but alas. Ooh, fun fact about the California tortilla you found at King of Prussia Mall, maybe? They had a little wall of flame, a stand full of different hot sauces to try. That's what I'm thinking of. But like, but like, with syrups. And I feel like you could get the same thing. I mean, think of it this way. I bet there's probably like a honey bar out there and they do like those flavored little honey sticks. It's basically, it's basically syrup. Although it didn't necessarily come straight from the plant that you're syruping of, like strawberry syrup or, I don't know, I don't know. IHOP's got options, dude. IHOP's got plenty of options. Gotta love that. So now, I've mixed almost everything together, except for the last part of the cocktail. So, where to go? I tried, got, a, got something new. Are we ready? Are we ready? Drum roll, please. No, we don't need a drum roll. It's okay. I'm just gonna bring out my cocktail glasses. I got these tiny little cocktail glasses because when thinking about taking a Valium pill to ease my stress and anxiety, those pills aren't very large. They're rather small. So I figured the tiny glasses would be the ones. And I'm also trying something completely different around here. I have been wanting for quite a while to change up the whole aesthetic of the cocktail time and stuff like that. Will Anna make an appearance? No, she's actually in a meeting right now. She's advancing her academic career by sitting through the stuff that bores her. But we won't tell her professors that. We've got something different. I've got a really, re here it comes. It's a really, really shitty close up. I don't even know what direction this is in. Look at that. <laughs> it's a little thing. I love that. And I think, did everything freeze for a second? Oh, it looked like it froze for a second. Isn't this crazy? Now, this is using a very, I don't know if it, I, have, I can't tell if it looks good. I just set this up like five minutes before the stream started. Hopefully it looks cool. It's great. What do I mean? I have no idea what I mean. Look, I can see my face. I better see my face from here. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is going to be. 
Hi, everybody. It's me. I'm Cameron. I'm posting up on my face. I'm gonna admit that was a little creepy, but I'm going for it. In any case, when the lighting, everything's getting better around here. I can't wait, like, I keep trying to improve things from the stream side over here, but as soon as I move to a different apartment, I'm gonna have to change everything up again. And then when I get a house in the future, I'll change everything up. It's good. It's fine. We'll worry about it then. Anyways, so I'm gonna just pour, like, a smidge, like, three quarters of the way up for each of these little drinks here. And then the rest of it gets filled up with lemon lime soda. There's a little bit there. There's a little bit there. It's so cute. I've attempted to like put them all next to each other before and like do like bam, 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 bam. But I'm really not that good at that. I always make a mess. At least I'm not doing it on top of yoga blocks this time. I'm actually making a serious mess right now. I'm pouring all over the place. I don't know why that is. Oh well. <laughs> they did stay a little blue. They're kind of blue. They're really dark blue. I actually kind of like that. I like that better. I think that's cool. And so now we're going to top each of them off with a little bit of lemon and lime soda, which I've got. I got a Sprite. Look at that. It's sp Oh my God. Oh my God. The close up works. Whoa. Look, it's Sprite. It's Sprite, my friends. Maybe it don't. Maybe it don't look so good, but it's Sprite. Oh my God. Wait a minute. I can bet I can do. Can I do a close up on the recipe? Hey, yo. This is the. Oh wow. You can't see that at all. Can we see that at all? Oh. I'm trying over here. I'm trying over here. It'll be in the description. We'll wind up recapping. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. Oh, I didn't pour the Sprite. I need to pour the Sprite. Silly me. Anywho's, pour the Sprite up to... You fill You fill the rest with Sprite. I didn't use a very large container, so... Uh, it's not that much. Although, comparatively, it is a lot. Wow! Wow, look at that! Wowza. Wow, look at that. Wow. The light's a little too strong for the poor paper. I agree. I agree. And that's because I have my... I have my criticisms about everything that happens around here. I'm a very self-critical person. I know for a fact that that camera automatically adjusts its exposure and it looks terrible. If I didn't adjust the exposure and do it manually, it would look even worse. But because it's not automatically adjusting its exposure, it's not going to be able to very well focus on things. That's why I switched out for this camera. This camera's better. And this camera can do this, which is usually pretty enjoyable. It's okay. Again. Oh my god! You have to learn circle legs. I have to learn circle legs? Yeah. Oh, I guess Anna is making an appearance. Surprise, surprise. How do I do circle legs? Wait, do I need to- Okay, okay, okay. How do we do this? So you lift up? Well, they're not gonna see that from there. I'm gonna lift up. And they go out and around. Lift up and around. Actually, you know what we'll do? As soon as I'm finished with this cocktail stuff, I am gonna remove the table so we can see how to exercise. We're gonna educate everybody around here. But first, Valium. Blue Valium. It's actually kind of interesting. Like, I don't know if Valium is necessarily sold in any other form than the little blue one. So, calling it Blue Valium is kind of redundant. Because Valium is blue. At least the pictures that I looked up online were also blue. Take a look at the Blue Valium. I don't know if this is looking so good. Actually, wait, 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 wait. Look at that. Ooh. Ooh. Wait a minute. Actually, if you want to do this professionally, I need, like, a nice white background so we get some contrast. I have, I have this Fruits Basket pillow. It's white, mostly on the other side. No, it's not. Well, isn't that cute? I thought it was empty, but it's it's full of your favorite characters for both sides. Do I have anything with a white backing over here? Anna, do you have a piece of paper? What about ooh, that pillow ooh. right behind you? What pillow? Which one? The blue one. I just grabbed oh, the yeah. white pillow, you silly goose. Which other pillow? Where's the pillow? Oh, I don't know. Donde esta? I don't know how to say pillow. Pillow. <laughs> pillow. Valium comes in blue, yellow, and white. Really? Well, this is the blue one. Uh, what if I use the back of this book? Use the back of this book. Look at that. Let's see if the see how that looks. Thousand and one cocktails. Take a look at that. Ooh. Oh my goodness. That's such a nice color. Ooh. Things will get better around here. We're making it making it better. Slowly but surely, we're making things better. Anyway, I've had quite enough of that. So, <laughs> that was pretty cool. Blue Valium, made with one, uh, two thirds of an ounce of 151 proof rum. I used Gosling's Dark. Three quarters of an ounce of whiskey. I used Black Velvet in that little boy's mouth. It also calls for three quarters of an ounce of Blue Curacao or Caracao, depending on how particular you are about your spelling. I used Haram Walker and, oh God, where's the other one? Oh, hello. Hello there. Hmm. Cocktail artist, the glass is your canvas. That feels a little 
cool on the nose, you know? Mm, I'm not a really fan of that. Oh, pretty pool teal. Pretty pool teal. Yeah, you know what? I'm getting like, <laughs> I'm getting like show pool vibes. Like you go to the pool store and you're like, I want to shop for a pool. And you look in the pool and it's got the blue water in it. You know it's dyed. You know you shouldn't jump in. But as a young child attempting to shop for a pool with your parents, you think the best way to know if it's the pool for you is to jump right in and give it a shot. And then be reprimanded because you shouldn't be jumping into the display pools. They don't want you to do that. It smells. It smells like high proof rum. Probably because there's quite a bit in there. And relatively speaking, that's more than likely where most of the alcohol is coming from. But it's also kind of limey. It smells like Sprite. It's a little effervescent. And naturally, I've been told that you're really not supposed to take your pills in pieces. Don't cut them down the middle. Don't cut them on the side. Don't cut them diagonally. Don't crush them up and put them up your nose. Not a good idea. You should take your pill in one gulp. Swallow the whole damn thing. I take Dramamine in halves. Or my melatonin. I don't know if you're supposed to do that, dear. Yeah, you can. Oh, you, you can? can? Does it say on the... Does it say... Okay, well, unless the pill is perforated for you to do so. But otherwise, I don't have perforated glasses over here. That's the buildup. Let's see how it goes. Hmm. Actually, not too bad at all. Wow. It's very... So, actually, I don't get much of the rum notes at all. I don't get much... Actually, no. I get I get rum on the edge. The whiskey is kind of lost on me. I'll admit that. I think all the other sweetness and stuff kind of gets lost or overpowered. The rum makes sense. It's got a lot of alcohol in it. The um, I actually think I taste mostly... I need to taste what this syrup tastes like. Because I feel like I'm tasting most of this. Let's see. They make pill cutters for a reason, Cam. I don't take a lot of pills, so I wouldn't need to buy these sorts of things. I think the only pills that I take are the ones that are in the capsules. I can't cut the capsules open. They'll spill everywhere. I've taken... Don't actually, cut capsules. Yeah, don't cut capsules. Anna says that, so she's the one who's starting to become a doctor, so... I doctor cannot physical prescribe therapy. a medication. Read the labels. That's all I can she say. She cannot prescribe medications. We do don't. not take eight Advils do at once. Do not take eight Advils at once. Don't do it. It's horrible. Laura's life is like, I mean, they're designed to be snapped in half. That's different. You can make it an even split with your fingers. It's just kind of important to know what kind of a med, is it, med it is. I agree with that. Astra's seen pretty much every pill under the sun. Interesting. What an interesting life you live. I have to see what this tastes like. So I'm going to pour a little bit of it in my glass, and I'm going to take that off. And see how we go because like this is the blue that it was supposed to this is the blue color that it was supposed to be let's let's take a look at that this is the blue color that it was supposed to be this is the blue color it's supposed to be and it kind of got watered down with it actually looks really green i'm not used to this angle so it's a little wonky that's like a sapphire blue i wish it stayed that blue color but alas i went for the i went for the dark rum and not the other rum so that's what we got hmm Will Disney Queen? Whoa, well, with Disney Queen, why do we not take eight valid Advil at once? Yeah, please tell us. Now I'm curious. Okay, so on the bottle, it says you may only take two Advil every six hours. I didn't see the bottle. What if my Advil didn't come in a bottle? What if it didn't come with properly labeled instructions? What do I do? Even when you take medically uh, prescribed Advil, you are only taking at max, I think, 600 milliliters. 600 milliliters is actually only three... Uh, three of them because each of um each advil is about 200 milliliters i'm using liters that's not the right unit no keep going keep going this is good <laughs> but in order because like advil will also kill your liver when taken in high doses and so the whole point of advil is either to decrease the over inflammation so over amounts of blood flow into that area or to decrease swelling which is also over amounts of blood flow because that will decrease your pain the other issue is we have patients that come in and they're like, I take this many Advil and it doesn't help. And we're like, all you're doing is killing your liver. So please read the bottle. There, there's reasons why they're on the bottle. We've got Astro out here who says he takes four Advil. Anna, how do you plea? Read your bottle. Read your bottle and read your Bible, depending on what type of part, what part of your health you are attempting to, uh, to, to kind of level up at that point in time. Anna's reading a bottle. 200 milligrams. How many How many pills? You should only take two. The bottle says you should only take two. But make sure to read your manufacturer's labeling. And ask your parents permission oh, before going online. This one says take one tablet every four to six hours. If I'm pain or fever does not respond to one tablet, two tablets may be used. I feel like the good go-to is read your bottle's labeling. Yep. 
It won't kill your liver as fast. Or my liver will die. Who knows? There you go. If not properly contained, the pills that is, that can be pretty dangerous for exactly this reason, right? <laughs> when Esther was sick with a sore throat, you had to take like four every four-ish hours. Otherwise, you were feeling like trash. Does it go to a certain weight? Oh, does it go to a certain weight? What is it labeled on the container? Is this how much you're taking? Let's take a look. Oh, it's shit. Equate. It's ibuprofen. Yeah, I'm too lazy. Oh my god, how the hell do I like? You're talking. Wait, I is Advil ibuprofen? Yeah, Advil is ibuprofen. Is Advil ibuprofen? Advil is just the um. It's ibuprofen. The ibuprofen NSAID. is I think pain the... reliever, fever reducer, NSAID. Yeah. Here, we'll go to tablets. It's an NSAID. Hmm. Yeah. I don't see any weight stuff. What do you mean weight? Severe stomach bleeding if you are age 60 or older. Ooh. Because it messes with Ooh. your lungs. Ooh. Not for children 12 or under. They have um, small If you're devices. under 12 years old, you should ask your doctor. Yep. Don't store above 40 degrees Celsius or 104 degrees Fahrenheit. This is interesting. Jeez. You never read Advil? I mean, I don't usually take Advil. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I, uh, I don't get it. Is it for headaches or stomach cramps? What's it usually used um, for? Um, typically any kind of pain. That is not nerve pain. Um, Usually it's related to any kind of I just kind of forget that I have Advil laying around. Yeah, I kind of forgot it was on the table until I picked yeah. it up. So the bottle that we have doesn't go to a particular rate. Do they slightly, slightly different things, if you can remember? They do slightly different things. Oh, the Advil and the ibuprofen. Yeah, so ibuprofen... No, those are both the same thing. One's the name brand and one's the off... Uh, the off Time for Google! I usually resort I'm to the Google aspirin. for things like no, this. Advil and ibuprofen. Are, uh, they're both NSAIDs. Is Ad ibuprofen and Advil the same thing? Ibuprofen is often known by its given name, but you may also know it as Advil or Motrin. It yeah. is classified as a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug, aka NSAID. Other members of this drug yeah. class include aspirin and naproxen, aka Aleve. Aspirin is the... I'm pretty sure aspirin is the one that's... uh not targeted on blood swelling. Hmm. So you'd use that for just general pain. I usually forget I even have pills in the area, so I don't you know. Learn but they do kind of do have slightly different pills. Yes, but they're all in the cabinets, yeah, and if it's not directly in front of my eyes, then well, I have a I'm hard time sure remembering they're all like things. five years expire. So I have my verdict on what this blue curacao syrup tastes like. It's medicinal. It's like, it tastes like Medicine? It tastes like somebody gave you orange flavored medicine. It's like somebody gave you medicine and said, that tastes like an orange. And you were like, the hell are you talking about? It doesn't taste like an orange. It's blue for Christ's sake. I don't know. Does it taste like these? What kind of gummies are these? I don't know. Let's have pills on camera. Vitamin C. Those it can't be that gummies. bad for me. They're gummies. Mm. Fun fact, don't take Advil and Naproxen together. You will feel sick. Like an nah, this is more, it's got citric acid in it. That's more sour than the other thing is. This isn't sour at all. Do what? not put that back in there. I'm not putting it back in the thing. Oh my god, give me that. Consumption. Oh my god. Your mom made us get those when we had uh, COVID. It's from vitamin C. It's an immune supplement. It's supposed to help you. Natural oil and flavor with other natural flavors. Oh man. It's if there's something I love. It's sugar. If there's something I love, it's natural flavoring. Being as vague as possible. First other ingredient is cane sugar. So like, you can sugar. tell what this is targeted That's for. really sour. That's completely messing up my whole my whole flow over here. Anyway, so... The Blue Valium is rummy. It's got the alcohol flavor coming off of it. I think the whiskey is kind of like lost on it. But it's definitely got like a, like a sweet, sweet orange tang to it. It kind of just tastes like Curacao with extra alcohol. I'm kind of, I kind of lost everything else on it, but I mean, it's, from what I can tell, the original, the original amount of, like, ingredients that go in, goes into this only makes about two ounces of drink, and that's not a lot, that's like, that's basically to the top of my measuring thing here, so like, it's not that much, that's, there's only that much in it, and then you put a splash of your sour mix, and then the splash of the, um, ooh, what was it, lemon lime soda, it's safe. What? Oh, it says to put a dash of lemon lime soda, not fill the thing up. Oops. Oopsie, I made a little bit of a whoopsie. But that's okay. I've still got more. I've still got more in this container. Let's just put a, da a, a dash in it this time. See if that changes things up significantly. Fill it all the way up to the top, almost all the way up to the top. Let's see about, oh, where'd my Sprite go? Ah, Sprite. Yes, hello, you're here. 
Well, hello there, meatball girl. Waves, waves, hello everybody. You came in at just the right part. Sprite, this stream is now sponsored by... You can't say that. I can't say that, I can't say that. We're not sponsored by anybody. Just kidding, no lemon lime soda. None of it. Don't you need to put it in your drink? I need to put it in my drink. From this generic brand lemon lime soda, which we're definitely not being sponsored by. We shut that one up pretty quickly. Coco only sponsors Splash. This a splash of lemon lime soda. Generic brand. Because we can't say that we're sponsored by it. <laughs> Although we are sponsored by Salami, we finally got that partnership going again. We literally don't own any Salami. Alright. Update. If you only add a dash of sp uh, lemon lime soda, it just tastes like rum. <laughs> I made blue rum today. Isn't that beautiful? That's actually kind of like an ocean teal blue. Asher would have sponsored it. Sponsored what? Generic name brand lemon lime soda? Mmm. It's new setup. Char charcuterie? Charcuterie. Are we spelling that correctly? I feel like it starts with a C. Charcuterie. What is charcuterie again? Time to go to the Google. I'm looking up words. Wait a minute. I can, I can voice command this. Charcuterie. Charcuterie. C H A R C U T E R I E. Wow. Google decided to spell it out three times for me. Charcuterie. Charcuterie is. Oh, because I typed it into Google three times, it's not going to tell me. Oh, <laughs> actually, what I searched for was charcuterie. Charcuterie. Spells out charcuterie. Wow. <laughs> Where's charcuterie? Charcuterie is French for deli, like deli meats. What is typically on a charcuterie plate? Cured meats, various cheeses, olives, and nuts! Fruit, dried fruits, crackers, or small slices of bread, jelly, or jam. Hmm. It does sound rather enticing. I can go get nuts. I don't have any. Wait, I have, I have cashews on my desk! Wait, or did you take the cashews away from me? Where are the nuts, Anna? Toss me the nuts! Toss me the nuts! Observe the nuts! They've fallen. Whoa! Where did that come from? You don't have the middle <laughs> Meatball Girl's mom used to make that every so often. Charcuterie. Now presenting the stream, sponsored by the Nutrition Facts on the back of this cashew container, whose brand well shall be never named. It's literally great value. It's great me. value. It's from Walmart. They're not sponsoring this. Only salami is. Oh my god. Hmm. You're distracting. I'm supposed to be doing work. That's exactly what I'm supposed to be doing. Okay, maybe not toss things when you have glass in front of you or behind you. That's how I broke a glass. Actually, Meatball Girl was there. Remember the time I broke a, broke a glass? I'm such a doofus sometimes. It's great. Proceeds to unzip pants to show the nuts. <laughs> Hand me my jacket. No! Okay, I will not be unzipping anything to showcase the nuts. However, I will de-lid, which is basically just robing this can. <laughs> if Walmart sponsored, I'd be rolling in the dough. Oh my god. Sir! I shall not unzip my pants on stream. I just unzipped my pants on stream. But you can't tell. It's behind the table. Now we'll zip them back up. Did you freaking Nobody's shit done the wiser. Anna, did I unzip my pants? Yes! I'm gonna do it again. Don't Watch do that. that. I, I I'm where it's nothing bad. Nobody can see anything. Can not even I can see anything. I can hear There's the nothing sound effect. There. It's weird. Oh, wait. Can we hear the zipping sound effect? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> done. Anyway. <laughs> Extra's a threat. Whoa! Anyway, we don't need those nuts anymore. No, we made a cocktail. We did it. We did it, everybody. We made a cocktail, and we somehow survived out the other side. Gosh, how's everybody doing? Am I less anxious yet? Let's see. I'm still at 96. What the hell is going on with me? You're bouncing God. around like crazy. Sir! Sir! <laughs> that was alcohol. Sir. That was alcohol. Why would I slurp alcohol? It's high proof too. Technically, because there's high proof rum in this, I might be able to set this on fire. But I'm not gonna do that today. Why not? Because I don't wanna set it on fire. I'll do it. I might break my glass. That'd be cool though. That'd be fun. Try it. I'm living my best life, except for the slurping. That's apparently the worst part of my life I'll so go get far. The fire thing. Anna's gonna go get the fire thing. We're gonna try to see if we can actually set this shit on fire. Remember, don't attempt this at home. I'm in the comfort of my own home. Where's the fire thing? Oh, she can't find the fire thing. Guess we, guess we can't. Oh, wait, I had it. Oh, she found it. 
I like fire. I don't think this actually can set on fire, but if we can manage to turn literally every single light off, we might be able to see. Actually, hold on, hold on. Let's... Mm. Safety first. Make sure to have water on standby. I got a whole bottle of it. Now! Oh. Nah, you'd have to float the 151 rum on top. That's not fun. Unfortunate. Not fun at all. She says it's not fun. Not fun at all. Maybe it's less I an anxious than expected. You know how you feel, but body can express different things in different ways. You're right. In anime, fire is the weakest thing. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Indeed, indeed, indeed. Uh, but it's the most honest compliment. Indeed. You can't easily fake a slurp when enjoying a soup. <gasps> this is good soup. But soup is gross. Well, you know, apparently we have differing opinions here. I think soup is wonderful. And I'm gonna keep it that way. I will forever be entitled to my opinions about soup being wonderful. Soup is so versatile. You can make anything into soup. You can make rock soup. You can make cereal soup. Which is basically just cereal in the morning with your milk. Question. If I sit in the tub, does that become me soup? That comes a bath. Genuine question. Bath. Soup doesn't just slap. It just doesn't slap. How dare you! See this blasphemy! Rules of ramen are eternal. Oh, because cause ramen, if you put it in there, it's kind of soup. It's basically soup. I like soup. Good soup. Good soup. In any case, I've made cocktail soup. <laughs> it's not soup. It's not soup. But it could be soup. Coffee is bean soup. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. It's been great. I'm sure we will have some very controversial topics to continue with when we start the game. The game being Graveyard Keeper. But alas, until we do that, actually, I'm doing something completely different now, too. And I'm gonna be totally honest about it, because it gets me really, really excited. I feel like one of the most, the, some of the funnest parts that I have with these streams is being able to make the thumbnails afterwards. I've always been a bit of a graphic designer, but I never majored in it. I just, I wanted to do engineering stuff. But so now, this is gonna be a completely separate VOD than the game that comes afterwards. So I get to make two thumbnails tonight. Ooh, it's so exciting for me. I like to I like to do stuff like that. I just gotta figure out how to do with these uh with these little little glasses here. Maybe I should uh maybe I should put my I'm gonna put my thing in here. I wanna take nice nice pictures of this thing. They're so cool. Look at them. Oh my god, they look so pretty! Wow! Look at me taking pictures of things on camera. We should do a selfie. Selfie time! What? That was embarrassing, and I'm embarrassed. I'm still playing Gabriel Keeper? Hell yeah! Thumbnails are fun! Thank you, everybody, for watching the cocktail segment of today's episode, and we'll continue on with Graveyard Keeper in just a little bit. I hope you all enjoyed your time in the cocktail lounge, which I like to call the bar, with an X. The X is naturally silent. It's just kind of something I've begun to do around here. There's no real rhyme or reason behind it, but it's been fun. Gents, ladies, and those in between, wherever you're lounging up next, whatever time zone it may be, Enjoy yourself. I'll catch you all on the other side. Peace out, y'all! Until then, bye! But I think I already have them. Hi there. Hey there, what's up? Oh, and then you walk away, and then you start throwing shit at me. Not kind, spider dude. Not kind, spider miss. Little miss Skeetor. Alrighty then. I am gonna need additional stuff. Did I fight all the enemies? Shit, I didn't kill all the enemies. Oh, there's more enemies down here.